British Foreign Secretary David Cameron announced today further sanctions on what he called extremist Israeli groups and individuals for alleged violence in the West Bank. Uh, this sanctions package targets people who have been inciting and perpetrating settler violence against Palestinian communities in the West Bank. And it comes after what the Foreign Office calls an unprecedented rise in settler violence after they imposed similar sanctions in February earlier this year. There's been no direct reaction from Israel to either those sanctions in February or to these now. Uh, but the Foreign Office point out that they previously did impose those sanctions and they obviously want people to take seriously the idea that Britain is against any kind of violence from settlers in the West Bank. Uh, they say there's been a UN claim of at least 800 incidents of settler violence since October. And Jonathan, how is the Israeli government reacting to this decision and how could this potentially impact uh, the ties between the Israel and the UK? Well, so far, no, no direct reaction uh, to these new measures which impose financial restrictions on the entities and individuals who are listed and travel restrictions on them as well. Uh, it could have just a, a general effect of, of making the relations frostier, but I think we need to look at it in the wider context, that there's a lot of pressure on governments, including the British government, to put some sort of sanctions on Israel. As far as it goes, this is, is relatively mild uh, because it's not withdrawing uh, trade, it's not limiting even any kind of arms trade between the countries. It's none of that. It's concentrating on something which I think is relatively uncontroversial, uh, which is the idea that there shouldn't be settler violence in the West Bank. And maybe in that respect, uh, it's certainly less threatening to Israel than what some other countries have done. Indeed, it is in line with what other others have done. The US has put similar measures in place. I believe France has also done something similar. So it's not that Britain is doing this alone. In fact, I think Britain is doing this instead, perhaps, of some of the harsher moves that some critics of Israel would like to see Britain take.